Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK, the YouTube channel. It's all about hiking, backpacking and wild camping. Right today, you get to share with you an award-winning sleeping bag. Now this sleeping bag is very, very unique. It's completely zipless, so there's no zips on the sleeping bag whatsoever. It's got some really cool features as well. So this is the Sierra Designs Cloud 20 sleeping bag. There's a 35 version and a 20 version. 35 version has a comfort level of plus two degrees. This is a proper winter sleeping bag with a comfort level of minus three degrees. Now, Sierra Designs have got some really cool, unique products out there. And let's also, let's not forget that the Sierra Designs High Route was the main source of inspiration for the Durston X-Mid, which everyone loves that design. So this in its packed form, this is the regular version. This is 38 centimetres by 19 centimetres, which isn't bad at all for a winter sleeping bag. Weighs 850 grams, it uses 419 grams of 800 fill power dry down so it uses very high quality down filling it's hydrophobic down as well so if it gets wet it shouldn't clump up and it should keep you warm as well now the materials used in this is a 15d nylon ripstop fabric which although thin it's still quite strong as well so what we're going to do let's get this out of its sack you can highly compress this, but I would say the more you compress your down sleeping bags, there is a risk that when you're setting up your camp and you're shaking it back out, it just doesn't loft as much as it should. So you might lose some warmth there. So just a word of advice, and that's all down sleeping bags. Just be careful how much you compress them. Although, they can get really, really tiny if you use a compression bag. Right, so let's get this sleeping bag out. So we'll get inside the Sierra Designs Cloud 20 sleeping bag in just a second. But as you can see, it's a very generous mummy style sleeping bag. You've got loads and loads of wriggle room in this. Perfect for restless sleepers or side sleepers or stomach sleepers like me. Now at the foot end you can see really heavily downed foot box there. This is one of the special features is a foot vent. So if you're hot you can just pop your feet out of the sleeping bag. Now it's sort of self-sealing, there's massive overlap there so it won't let chilly drafts in. Now this is the best thing about the sleeping bag, no zips so just to get in and out just whack it open, hold it shut. It's almost like a quilt at the top, it's great. And once again, there's massive overlap here, so there's no risk of chilly drafts. Now it's also got a cinch cord up there, but this slightly heavier sleeping bag, has got loads of downing, so you've got loads of padding throughout the sleeping bag. So on the underside of the sleeping bag, you've got a sheet that fits over your sleeping pad. So if you're a wriggly sleeper, restless sleeper, you won't find yourself on the floor during the night because it holds you in place really nicely. So let's get inside the Sierra Design sleeping bag. So just whip it open. This is the best thing about it get in you've got this lovely really lofty foot box keeps your feet really nice and snugly now it's a little bit tricky sometimes but just pop your feet out at the end if you feeling a little bit hot just rest the sleeping bag on top of them if you get cold again just whip them back in and it's back to a normal sleeping bag. Now, what I love about this, it's just like your sort of duvet at home. I'm a front sleeper. Just grab the corner, 
wrap it around you and off you go for a really, really nice sleep. Now this regular version will suit people up to six foot tall. Now I'm five foot eight, 172 centimetres and it's absolutely perfect for me. I've got to say though, if you're six foot tall, I'd go for the large version, no doubt about that. But it's got really nicely insulated hood as well. It's just a really nice, relaxed, generous sleeping bag. Absolutely love it. It's really, really nice to sleep in. Now, I sometimes get in and out of my sleeping bag. Might go for a pee or two during the night. Um, but even if it's just cold, you know, I might spend time in, in and out of it. And it's just good just to whip it open and whip it closed. It's really, really quite nice. You can sit up in it like this. Um, I just think it's a really, really fantastic idea. So what do I think about the Sierra Designs Cloud 20 sleeping bag? Now I've used this a lot, so I also used it for the West Highland Way as well. Now I've got to say, one night on the West Highland Way, it got down to minus three degrees. I was using this big Agnes Rapid SL sleeping pad. It's got an R value of, I think, 4.2. It's wearing some bamboo base layers and I did wake up cold. However, in fairness to the sleeping bag, had I been wearing my merino wool base layers and also had uh, say five and a half plus R value sleeping pad, probably would be all right. I wouldn't really want to go much further than minus three. Um, where I think it's great is great for sort of milder winter sort of nights and colder spring and autumn days anything down to sort of zero i would say is probably ideal i just love i absolutely love the wriggle room in this i am a restless sleeper i'm an absolute nightmare but i've never found any drafts bearing in mind it's zipless i just haven't found any now the downsides i would say for whatever reason this and also my Sierra Designs Nitro sleeping bag, the down is a little bit smelly, I've got to be honest. Um, it doesn't particularly bother me, but it might bother some other people out there. Also, the baffles on the top are horizontal, and this is a problem with other sleeping bags uh, that have horizontal baffles as well. Sometimes if you wriggle around, that down can move to the sides and you can actually find yourself with a, like a cold spot. So you can move it around, hold it up to the light, move it around a little bit. You can always put your down sleeping bags in the tumble dryer with some down balls, just reloft it, move that, move that down around and sort of help correct that. Um, but I think it's been absolutely brilliant. It sits right in the middle of a traditional sleeping bag and a quilt um, but I would say for anyone out there that struggles sleeping you know we all wish we could just sleep on our backs arms down by our sides fully cinched hood that would be fantastic but I think the reality is the vast majority of backpackers and wild campers just aren't like that and these sort of products can be a real real godsend for those people but i can see why it's award winning without a shadow of a doubt it's a cracking sleeping bag this retails at 299 pounds however if you look online you can get it closer to 200 pounds i'll put some links in the description for you but i certainly really uh, really rate it and it's just something nice to look forward to at the end of a hard day's backpacking. But anyway, if you want to see this in action, please check out my West Highland Way video series. But I hope to see world camping soon. Cheers.